Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Earth Science Region to View podcast series created by Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today, we're going to focus our attention on page one in the reference table, Properties of Water Chart. Now, this chart primarily focuses on the different phase changes that water goes through. So let's start with the very first one, melting. Now, melting is going to require a certain amount of heat energy that's measured in joules. And it's going to need about 334 joules per gram to change solid ice into liquid water. Now, energy in this case is going to be gained from the environment. The second phase change can be freezing. Freezing is going to need the same quantity, 334 joules per gram. Obviously, freezing is going to be liquid water into solid ice, but in this case, energy is going to be given off. It's going to be released. You'll notice that vaporization or evaporation is going to need a significant increase in heat content. So it's going to need about 2,260 joules per gram, and with evaporation or vaporization, energy is taken in, and also with condensation, this is going to be water vapor changing back into liquid water. It's going to need the same quantity, 2,260 joules per gram, but in this case, energy is going to be given off. So realize that's where all your phase change information is going to come from. At the bottom here, it tells you the density of water. Density is going to be about 3.98 or about 4 degrees Celsius. The density of water is going to be 1 gram per cubic centimeter or 1 gram per milliliter at that temperature. And water at that temperature is going to be in the liquid phase and that's going to be the phase in which it's going to be most dense at. So that's it with the properties of water. Talk to you soon.